how are you i hope you all are fine and doing well so today we are going to start with the new topic which is about the uniform circular motion and centripetal force so you people have heard about the centripetal force and circular motion we all know that the more body moving in a circle a type of motion is known as the circular motion so uh, today we are going to discuss about the circular motion and the centripetal force and this is going to be a very interesting topic so let's start uniform circular motion so let's discuss about the uniform circular motion first we come across many things in our daily life that are moving in the circular path okay uh, so this is our daily life examples that we take from the circular path, path that for example a person um, moving around the round track this is the example of the circular motion so here we are i have taken the examples of circular motion take a small stone tie it at one end of the string and keep the other end of the string in your hand okay first of all you have to take the stone and tie it with the string and keep the other end of the string in your hand now rotate the stone holding a string the stone will move in the circular path now continue to rotate the stone so the stone will move in the circular path the motion of the stone will be uniform circular motion similarly the motion of moon around the earth is the circular motion so here we have taken the example of the stone which is tied with the string is <clears throat> a person rotate the stone with the help of the string the uh, stone the body will move in the circular path which is the stone the stone will move in the circular path similarly we have taken the other example which is the daily life example that the motion of moon around the earth is the circular motion So let's come towards the definition of the motion. The motion of an object in a circular path is known as the circular motion. If a body is moving in a circular path, then th this type of motion is known as the circular motion. Here you people can see the example of the car. Um, an object has a natural tendency to move in the straight line. But here you can see that the driver is pushing the force on the car to move around the round track. You can see that the car wants to move, that the object has the tendency to move in the straight line, but the force is applied by the driver which tends the car to move towards the circular path. Okay. Now, motion of the body moving with the constant speed along the circular path is called the uniform circular motion. So, um, the body, if covering a constant speed along a circular path then it is known as the uniform circular motion or we can say the body at any point um, covers the same distance then that type of motion is known as the uniform circular motion along a circular path okay if a body covers the same distance along the circular path then this type of motion is known as the uniform circular motion So, what, what keep the body moving in the circular path? The question arises over here that what keep the body moving along the circular path? Consider a body tied to the end of the spring moving with the uniform speed in the circular path. So, here again we have taken that example in order to explain the centri uh, centripetal force that we have tied a stone with the help of the string it move along uh, along the circular path a body has the tendency to move in the straight line due to inertia then why does the body move in the circle that the point to be noted okay the body has the tendency to move in the straight line due to inertia then why did the body move in the circle The string 
to which the body is tied keep it moving in the circle by pulling the body towards the center of the circle so here the string is applied on uh, the string is applied the force on the body that pull the body towards the center of the circle okay so what is the body or we can say what is the mass here the mass is the stone and the str string is tied with that of the stone so the string to which the body is tied keep it moving in the circle by pulling the body towards the center of the circle so here the person is applying the force on the stone which pull the stone towards the center of the circle but with the help of string the string pulls the body perpendicular to its motion okay uh, as i told you people earlier that the body has the tendency to move in the straight line but string pulls the body perpendicular to its motion the pull and four continu continuously changes the direction of motion and remain towards the center of the circle so here the highlighted term is that the body is pulled towards the center of the circle so here we have taken the body as a stone and the stone is pulled by the string towards the center of the circle what by what by uh, the force by the centripetal force so the pulling force continuously changes the direction of the motion and um, um, continuously changes the direction of motion and uh, the direction of motion what remain towards the center of the circle and the center seeking force is known as the centripetal force and this type of the force that keep the body pulls towards the center of the circle is known as the centripetal force or we can say that keep the body to move around in a circular track and pulls the body towards the center of the circle that type of force is known as the centripetal force it keep the body moving in a circle uh, centripetal force always act like perpendicular to the motion of the body okay the motion of the body is uh, again i told you that motion of the body uh, is in the straight line but the centripetal force always act like perpendicular to the motion of the body and centripetal force always keep the body in the circle so definition of the centripetal force is centripetal is the force centripetal force is the force that keep the body moving in a circle okay these are some examples so here you can see a person who is um, playing with the stone he tied the string with the stone and the string is applying the force on the stone due to which the uh, uh, stone moved towards the center of the circle or uh, maintain its motion in a circular path you can see that the uh, force and the direction of motion are perpendicular to each other at every point or we can say that at every position that the force and the uh, direction of motion are opposite to each other you can see in the graph over here you can see at each and every point that force and direction of motion are perpendicular towards each other centripetal force figure show a stone tied to one end of the string okay uh, rotating in a circle so the tension of the string provides the necessary centripetal force so the tension is applied by the string on the stone which provide the necessary centripetal force it keep the stone moving in the circle if the string is not strong enough to provide tension it break and uh, stone move away from the tangent of the circle so it depend upon the string we have taken the quality string which provide tension to the stone that keep the stone moving in the circular path 
so in this uh, the string is applying the necessary centripetal force on the stone that keep the stone moving in the circle but if the strong if the string is not strong enough okay if we take the string which is the weak and it is not strong enough to provide tension tension is what tension is basically a force tension is basically a force that is provided by the string to the body which is the stone and that keep the stone moving in the circular path and the string is providing the necessary centripetal force so that uh, that centripetal force has the tendency to keep the stone uh, towards the center of the circle okay or to keep the stone moving in a circle but if we see that if the st uh, string is not strong enough to provide tension it breaks and stone move away from the tangent of the circle so if the string is not strong enough to provide the force which is known as tension the string will break down and the stone move away from the tangent of the circle so we can take the example of the daily life like moon revolve around the earth so why the moon revolve around the earth what provide the, that moon the uh, necessary centripetal force so the gravitational field of the earth provide the necessary centripetal force the gravitational field of the earth provide the necessary centripetal force to the moon which keep the moon revolving around the earth so let's come towards the derivation of the centripetal force let a body of mass m move with the circular velocity uh, sorry let a body of mass m move with the uniform velocity in the circle of radius r okay let us see let us consider a body of mass m and the body is moving the with the uniform velocity in a circle of radius r the acceleration the centripetal acceleration provided by the centripetal force is given by so uh, what will be the centripetal acceleration obviously the centripetal acceleration is produced as the force is applied according to second law f is equal to m a so the centripetal acceleration is equal to ac which is equal to v square divided by r according to newton's second law of motion centripetal force is given by fc is equal to mac okay so the centripetal force is given by the formula f is equal to ma according to the newton second law of motion newton second law of motion is f is equal to ma so let's come towards the centripetal force in case of the centripetal force we get the formula or we can uh, say the equation as fc is equal to mac so resolving uh, ac substituting the uh, formula of ac which is equal to v square divided by r so putting uh, the um, the formula of ac in the equation we get fc is equal to mv square divided by r centripetal force needed by a body moving in a circle so here we conclude the formula which is uh, the centripetal force needed by a body in the circle depend upon the mass of the body square of velocity and the reciprocal of radius r of the circle so <clears throat> on what on what factors on what factors the centripetal force depend upon so basically the centripetal force needed by the body depend upon the mass of the body square of velocity of a body and reciprocal of radius of the circle reciprocal of radius r of the circle so in these are the factors on which the centripetal force depend upon so you can see over here by the formula that uh, centripetal force and the radius are inversely related towards each other that if the centripetal force is large then the radius must be small and if the radius is large then we provide then uh, less centripetal force so both are inversely related towards each other and um, centripetal force is equal to is directly proportional to mass and the square of the velocity of the body 
सो दीज आर द फैक्टर्स ऑन विच द सेंट्रीवीटल फोर्स डिपेंड अपॉन कंसिडर अ बॉडी टाइट टू अ स्ट्रिंग मूविंग इन द सर्कल द नेसेसरी सेंट्रीवीटल फोर्स एक्ट ऑन द स्टोन थ्रू विच द थ्रू द स्ट्रिंग दे कीप इट टू मूव इन द सर्कल सो द स्ट्रिंग इज टाइड टू अ स्टोन द स्ट्रिंग प्रोवाइड द नेसेसरी सेंट्रीवीटल फोर्स दैट एक्ट ऑन द स्टोन एंड कीप इट मूविंग इन द सर्कल according to the newton third law of motion there exists a reactional force which is known as the centrifugal force so in order to balance the centripetal force which act uh, which act inverse that keep the body to move towards the center of the circle there is a is a balancing force and according to the newton third law of motion action and reaction are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction so um, in order to balance out the centripetal force there will be the outward force which is known as the uh, centrifugal force or we can say the reactional force because the uh, the centripetal force is the action force and so in order to provide the reaction by the body so this is the reactional force which is known as the centrifugal force centrifugal force come into being centrifugal force balances the centripetal force that keep the body in equilibrium so let us suppose that if the body is uh, moving in a circular path by uh, by the necessary centripetal force okay and if the centripetal force became too large it became too large then it will fall the stone will fall towards the center of the circle but in order to balance in order to keep the body in equilibrium the necessary centrifugal force come into be or come into being or we can say the reactional force the centrifugal force that pull the string outwards is sometimes called the centrifugal force so the string and uh, the centripetal force that pull the string outwards is called the centrifugal force or so we can say that the centrifugal force is the reactional force or balancing force that uh, in order to balance out the centripetal force centrifugal force come into being and that keep the body in equilibrium so the outward force is known as the centrifugal force in order to balance the centripetal force so this is all about the circular motion centripetal force uh, centrifugal force i hope you people enjoy the video thank you so much